Hi everyone, it's Marisha and welcome to my creative diary. Today is day eight, the final day of my 2020 holiday card series. And today I am making a nativity scene card. Products featured in today's video are Paper Rose Diamond Vine Background Metal Die and Sunny Studios Holy Night. Let's get started. So off camera, I went ahead and stamped Mary, Joseph, and Baby Jesus, and I went ahead and colored them just to save some time. So now I'm going to go ahead and happy cut them out. Now that I'm done, I'm going to go ahead and place my images to the side and off camera, I went ahead and cut out the backgrounds that I'll need to complete this card. Now the blue cardstock, the light blue and the dark blue I purchased from Walmart. Yes, the pack was only $5 and it's by Color Bach. So if you get a chance, go to Walmart and check it out. Now the metallic cardstock and the brown cardstock is by Recollections, which I purchased from Michaels. Now I'm going to begin building my scene. So I removed the star and Oh Holy Night and I brought in Hero Hues Unicorn White Pigment Ink. Now guys, this is the very first time I have used pigment ink. And I'm going to be honest and let you know, it has been a very interesting experience. Tip number one, this ink takes forever to dry. It does. So if you're looking to make a quick card, I would use tip number two and hit it with my heat gun or tip number three and use it as embossing ink. Just apply your embossing powder, hit it with your heat tool and ta-da, you are good to go. Tip number four, this ink makes a great splatter. All I did was take my wet brush, roll it across the ink pad and give a few taps to my brush and ta-da, I have a starry night. Next up, it's time to assemble my panels. So I'm going to stack them by using my Ultra Bond Adhesive Glue. And for more information regarding all of the products that I'm using on today, you can check out my blog. The link to that will be listed below. Next up, I am bringing in my card base. This is 110 pound cardstock by Recollections, which is cut down to four and a quarter by five and a half. And I am adhering my panel to my card base. Next up, I am adhering my final panel to the top of my card. Now that I'm done applying my final panel, I'm going to press it down and let it set aside and let it dry. And ta-da, it's so pretty. Now instead of using metallic gold, you can opt to use silver. Now it's time to finish assembling my scene. So I'm bringing in my Starry Night and I am adhering it to my card. And I am going to bring in the brown cardstock and cut out what will resemble sand. Next up, it is time to bring in Joseph, Mary, and baby Jesus. Now what I'm doing is I'm just maneuvering them around on the card to see where the final placement will be. Now, if you do not want to add Joseph and Mary, that is perfectly fine. You can just have baby Jesus and this could be your card. So cute. Now back to my scene. Now that I know where I'm going to position them, I'm going to adhere Joseph and Mary with my adhesive glue. Now that I'm done adhering Joseph and Mary to the card, I am going to take foam tape and add it to the back of baby Jesus. This is just to add a little bit of dimension to my nativity scene. Now 
Now guys, this card is technically done. That's it. It's so cute. But you know, I had to take it a step further. So I brought in some embellishments by Paper Rose and I'm going to add some gems to the top of my card. I really like the extra touch of adding the embellishments. I really like how this turned out. And like I said, this card could go either way. You can either add the embellishments or not. There's so many ways that you can create this card. And that's why I love to give you options. Now guys, I messed up and it's okay. We all make mistakes, we're human. I used textured cardstock. So as a result of applying the this pigment ink with my sentiment it didn't leave a good impression so in order to clean that up i am going back over it with my jelly roll number 10 pen and guess what the ink was still wet it was ta-da this is the card it is all done i promise i'm not going to add anything else <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I hope there was something that you took from it to where you can add it to your next craft project. Thank you so much for tuning in. I also wanna take this opportunity to thank everyone for tuning in. Thank you for showing your love and support for your comments and the feedback that you have given me as I've launched this YouTube channel. I am forever humbled and grateful and I look forward to seeing what 2021 has to offer. Do not forget to subscribe, click the thumbs up bell and the notification button and share this video with someone. And don't forget to check out my blog at thediaryofbellrose.com. Have a wonderful Merry Christmas and until next time, please take care.